Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hello to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Frame Friday. Um, today we're going to frame a t-shirt, um, a rugby shirt, isn't it? Yeah, rugby yeah. shirt. We have um, two photos and the black on the bottom. Um, yeah, black background, black frame. Yep, that's yeah. it, classic. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting video. Then let's get started with it, shall we? So when stretching the shirt, we need to uh, find out what size piece of card we need so we can stretch it appropriately and uh, it'll be down to the customer if they want arms in or out and then that'll uh, determine how big a piece we'll need as well. So I've measured the uh, the card in half and lined it up with the centre of the shirt and we do one cut one side at a time so we can just flip it over and then we're able to then have a symmetrical board by copying what we just cut out and then everything will be nice and even. Okay, so I've just cut the shoulders and uh, put the t-shirt onto the board. This gives us a good uh, starting point now, so we can start to uh, sketch out where the neckline is going to be. We don't want to be seeing a bit of cardboard here, so we want to uh, find a point and uh, draw our arc around where we're going to cut out the, uh, the neck hole. So we still get the nice shape of the collar, but it's not going to be visible. And then after that we'll then cut some uh, shapes into the sides uh, to uh, add a bit of a bit of tailoring to the uh, to the t-shirt so it looks like it's on a human and not just a piece of card. So we stretch the shirt around the board to pull out any creases and to form nice shapes, uh, particularly around sort of the arms and things like that. We uh, tape it and stretch it through many points so it's all nice and ev evenly distributed rather than stitching where you get some tight points. And then we cover the back with tape so we can adhere the top to the background without it actually damaging the t-shirt at all. Okay, so we've just finished doing the preliminary taping on the back. We've now just turned the shirt over and it's looking pretty good, but we've just got to make sure we get things even. If a shirt has stripes, then you want even amount of stripes going on the sides, stitching to be roughly in the same position, and uh, nothing poking around one side where it's around the back on the other. So we've done our initial tape on the back of the shirt, which pulls it into shape, and the secondary tape provides a protective layer from us uh, gluing the shirt to the backdrop and also stops the shirt from changing shape over the years. Uh, yeah, Trevor, Trevor did a very nice job with stretching that shirt. Um, we have on the back side now a um, nice layer with, um, with sticky 
Um, that's where it's going to be attached to the, to the black card afterwards with silicon. And um, yeah, my task now is um, to cut um, a piece of black card who serves as a background. Um, I, uh, I give uh, one and a half inch on each side and on the bottom there are going to be two photos and in the middle a plaque. So my next task is to, to measure the whole thing up so they know how big the car is going to be. We, we, we really look after our cars, there are no scratch or something else with them. But even if they just slightly rub on each other, um, they then develop some glossy, um, glossy spots. And uh, a small pro tip is if you just take a big glass cleaner on a, on a piece of cloth, just go over the car like that, just make slightly damp. That makes all the fibers in the cart uh, bring them up again and get rid of all glossy spots so we don't have to dispose a nicely big piece of cart and in the frame it looks afterwards nice black and matte and not with um, glossy scratches on it So Joel's mounted the uh, shirt onto the mount and now I'm going to get the photos ready to uh, go onto the mount card as well. So now I'm starting to lay out the photographs and uh, plaque. So I want to begin with finding my midpoint which is 20, 10 and a half degrees and I can use this uh, layout ruler to help me uh, get everything nice and symmetrical. Are you, are you sure you got those the right way around? No, no, not really. No, no. Yeah, that's, that's wrong. That, that's <laughs> that's better. That <laughs> <laughs> Glass and back. Glass and back, is that as a uh, German word? Glass and back? <laughs> no. no? It sounds German. Glass and back. Glass and back? Glass and back. Glass and back. I'll have a pint of glass and back, please. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got the shirt in, we've then got it pinned into the frames and now we're going over with some framers tape just to give it a uh, dust barrier so nothing can get into the front of the, uh, the shirt.
So, I think it turned out lovely. Uh, it's a very nice job and um, yeah, I think customer will be happy with that one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So everybody take a complete perfect truck of cars again. Um, because I like the practice. Um, so it might have made a, a slight boo-boo. Slight boo-boo. Slight boo-boo. <laughs> slight boo-boo. Seemed to have slipped through the fingers. Uh, one of my eyes wasn't in correctly. So, something shifted slightly. Uh, it either shifted or it just wasn't put in the right place to begin with. Begin with finding my midpoint, which is 20, 10 and a half degrees. And I can use this uh, layout ruler to help me uh, get everything nice and symmetrical. Okay. I'll probably go for the latter. So we take it apart and uh, move the plaque and the foot a bit further to yeah. the, right, the right side. Yeah. Uh, Let's get, get them equal this time. I okay. Think. Get everything nice and symmetrical. That's good okay. idea. I think it's totally worth it, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. We don't want to. Uh, don't want to be giving away stuff that isn't right, so we'd uh, rather spend more time and effort in getting it perfect for our customers than uh, doing a half ass job. It was almost, almost a boring episode. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boo boo fixed. <laughs> boo boo fixed. So it's now lovely scented. I think we call it now. Yeah, I think the customer will be very happy <laughs> with that one. The customer will be happy now. Yeah, yes. yeah. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope, we hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, if you want more information about the framing shop, I'll leave the, uh, leave the in the description the, the link to our website. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the videos and um, yeah, see you next time, bye bye. <laughs>